Hi guys, it's me Nicole and with me as always is Sweet Mabel. Today we're going to do a full haircut and we're going to talk about a couple different kinds of haircuts. That's the fun of these doodle woodle type dogs is you can do a bunch of different haircuts on these guys. Editing me wants you to know that this is a long video. There's lots of scissor work and I hope that you find it valuable and as always, thank you so much for watching. The first haircut we're gonna talk about is a puppy cut. So if you go into your groomer and you say you want a puppy cut, that just means you're going to get one length all over and so you just need to choose the length. When you're deciding a length, you should think about how often you wanna brush your dog, how often you wanna bring your dog in for grooming, and talk to your groomer about what they think would be best for you they'll help you make a good decision on that. So she currently is in a puppy cut, which um, she's probably about two inches all over, um, which just means like her back, her legs, her head, her face, everything, feet, is all about two inches all over. We're gonna do two different haircuts on Mabel. The first haircut that I'm going to show you is going to be a lamb pattern. And that just means we're going to do the body really short, but we're going to leave a rounded area here and a rounded area here. It's kind of fun because their legs look super floofy. And then the second haircut will be her final haircut, which is kind of based on terriers. I'm gonna take her pattern to the elbow, and then I'm gonna swing from where her body tucks up right here down here to her ankle. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. For some dogs, you'll wanna start at their rear end just to get them used to the clippers. She's pretty warmed up, and so I should just be able to start up here at the neck. When I'm coming down her back, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come down the back and then when I get to this place where I want this circle to be, I'm gonna swing the clippers off of her rear end. So you're coming down the back and then when you get to that spot, you're going to pull the clippers in an outward motion. Sorry, she sat down. I can show you here on her shoulder too. So we're coming down and instead of continuing to push down, I'm gonna swing those clippers out like that, right at the top where I want that lamb pattern to be. Let's see if I can get her to stand up. Come on, baby. Good girl. All right, here's that rear. I'm just gonna swing out. Swing out. Swing out. And then I'm gonna come to her tuck up right here. And again, I'm not pushing down all the way. I'm swinging out right when I get to that spot. I'm gonna follow her belly down. I'm doing that swing out, put that pattern line where I want it. Okay, and so this is a good start. I've got my much longer hair on the legs here. You can kind of see it. See it here and shorter on the body. And so what do you do? You can't just leave it like that, right? You're going to grab your famous wide tooth comb and you're going to brush that up. And you can see right here that really harsh line between the short hair and the long hair. She's got a really harsh line right there. And so we're gonna take our scissors And you're going to scissor in a downward motion away from the dog. Keep their little noses out of it. And you're just barely scissoring that line. Just barely floating. And then you're gonna comb again. And you can see like 
We've got a short, we've got a medium, and then we've got really long and tuft it out. So we're gonna round that in some more. Let's do it over here. Got a lot of long hairs there. And guys, this I've been doing this for a very long time, so don't be frustrated if your scissoring doesn't look like mine. The trick is just doing it over and over, very slowly, until you get the hang of it. So, I've still got some lines here. Stay up. See that line? I gotta get that out of there. So I'm gonna brush backwards. Scissor until that line isn't there anymore. And push down. Take a look. And so that would be a lamb look. See how full her leg looks? But it's all kind of blended in. And then you would just repeat the process on this front elbow. You would comb it all backwards and then scissor down until you see, um, you know, a blended line that you like the look of. That was the lamb. Now I'm gonna walk you through setting this terrier style pattern that I like to do. So instead of the lamb cut, where you end up high on the elbow and high on the booty, we're gonna go down all the way to the elbow. We're doing that swinging out motion because I don't want to run it down her leg. And then on the rear, I'm gonna go from right here down to this ankle. And remember, be careful on the Achilles. You don't want to hit that. So swing out. And then of course, like any haircut, you're gonna wanna take your brush. Whoa! You're gonna wanna take your brush and you're gonna wanna back brush all this and do the haircut again. So I'm gonna do that. Now it's gonna be the same thing. I mean, you can clearly see that line right there. I'm just gonna back brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna back brush all this elbow hair and then I'm gonna scissor it down. So I'm gonna try to get a really good view for that for you guys. And so here is that close up. I've back brushed the elbow and now I'm using my scissors to trim off anything weird. I go ahead and I do this for all of her legs and then I also round the feet. Then I go ahead and trim up her head and her face as well. I don't have that in this video because I'm trying to keep these videos short and on point. This video was for doing two different patterns that you can do on these doodles, oodles, woodles, a uh, lamb pattern and a terrier pattern. I hope you liked one of these and give it a try. Here's Mabel's before and then of course the after. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos, let me know in the comments. We will see you next time. Bye for now.